Hey, I'm back, and uh, today we're gonna make something that's very cool and very artsy. Thought it might be fun to make a custom space skybox, which is uh, which is always fun, always interesting. And all you're gonna need is a, a texture cube, a cube map, which you can generate with this free tool called Spacescape. Where yeah, there's all sorts of customizable features and 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 details, that kind of thing. Just export one of those out and uh, open it up. Because we need to change some settings in here. Because as you can see, that's showing up very blurry and. Uh, yeah, not very, not very good, but we can fix this over here on compression settings. Change it to user interface 2D. Might take a second. I've exported mine at quite high res. There it goes. All right, next up is to scroll down here to MIP gen settings. We want to set that to no MIP maps. And you can see now it's coming up very, uh, in, in much higher, much higher detail. And down here in texture group, we want to change it to a skybox. And that's all we need to fix in our material, in our texture. So let's close that and we'll get to work on making the actual material. So just uh, right click, make a, uh, make a new material. Call this one our space map. Space map. And open it up and we'll get to work. Although first thing, we'll, uh, we'll set our scene first. So go to file, then new level. We just want a new empty level. So it's all totally black. And then uh, right click, Add a new blueprint class called an actor, and this will be our space skybox. Space skybox BP. So when we open that up, uh, we'll add ourselves a static mesh, and this will be our actual skybox, which over here in the static mesh, we'll define it. This one will be the SM Sky Sphere, which is in the engine content. And if you don't see engine content, go down here to view options and just tick this box here and it should show up. So there is our sky box. It's got the default sky on it at the moment, but that's all right, because we're going to change that. Uh, so uh, back over in our editor, just drag our sky box in and we'll put it at zero, zero, zero. Just so it's in the dead center. And then we can start working on our material. So open it up. And let's get started. So we're dealing with a with a cube map, so we're going to need a reflection vector because we can't just simply have just a gigantic cube with the normals facing inwards. And we'll need a uh, parameter cube texture sampler texture sample parameter cube. And this is our skybox, which we'll add over here. Space Skybox Texture Cube. Done. So we'll just connect that and we'll set our reflection vector to zero with a vector just like that. Hit save. And this goes into the emissive and our main node here needs to be changed to, uh, where are we? It needs to be unlit. There we go. So now in our little uh, preview window here, us up some space so you can go inside and you can see sort of how it works from within the from within the material editor so we'll just hit save on that for now and we'll go back to the editor and change the material of our of our uh, skybox uh okay so in the skybox blueprint we're going to make a new variable this is our material so make sure we set that to a material well, and then we can do some things in our event graph, in our construction script, really, because we're going to be manipulating blueprints and uh, scalar variables and that kind of thing. Uh, for now, though, it's very simple. All we need to do is bring in our material, get that, and the static mesh will also get that. And we'll come off this construction script with a set material node. Well, set material static mesh, <laughs> so I guess we can delete the sphere and plug material into material. And that's it for the time being. So we'll just save that. And over here in our, with our sky selected, we should have, um, where is it? Did I forget to save? Oh, we have to set the, the variable to public so that, we, so that it shows up in the, in the editor. There it is, material. And now we can drag our space map onto our material. Done. So that gets our basic space in. Next though, we want to be able to manipulate some uh, some values and change some things and have a bit more control over it. 
So that's where our SkyMap material comes in. And we're going to need some material parameters here to edit within the, uh, the Skybox blueprint in the actual editor. So right click, go to material and textures and get a material parameter collection. This one called, we'll call it our Skybox params. So open that up and let's just add some scalars here. Um, we'll add three. Just bust through this bit pretty quickly. You can add more or, or use fewer or, or whatever sort of later on as you go. And the values that we're going to be controlling are the star brightness, the scene brightness, and the power, the power of the whole skybox. We'll set some defaults at just one, just so that you know we're not seeing total black when it's when it's loaded. And close that, and we're ready to go. Uh, make sure that we've saved it. So in our space material, here's what we're going to do. I press up a little room here. We need to call our material parameters. So to get whoop, get your uh, your parameter collection, uh, we can we can just drag it in from the editor. It's a pretty quick way, and then we just define the value. Uh, over here in the details. So we'll pull up, we'll get our uh, our variables just ahead of time. Power, scene brightness, and star brightness. And then we'll get to work. So these are right here. First we'll do power, which is the straight up power value. Uh, we'll go into multiply and just add that as the B value. Uh, for the star brightness, we want to isolate the stars from the scene. So it's not just making the, you know, the whole, all the nebulas bright. Do that, we'll come off the red channel here and find some three point levels. So your three point values work a lot like, uh, just like the, the levels function in Photoshop. You know, you can manipulate the, the brightness contrast, how much black or white is showing through. Uh, we're just gonna use some basic constant values, although you can bind these to another parameter. Let's go zero, uh, 0 0.3 in the middle. And we'll go We'll go two for the new white point. Done, so that's our three point levels. Uh, this will deal with our star brightness, which we'll just take this and multiply and use that as our B value. Because if we right click on this three point levels, we'll see what we've, oh, that's not what I wanted, start previewing node. We can see what I've done here, which is for the most part, uh, isolated the stars from the, uh, from the scene. But we could probably do a little bit more like, you know, manipulate some of these values to get different results. For now though, we'll just, uh, we'll just leave as is and we'll push on. Next up is the scene brightness. And for that, we'll lerp it between uh, solid black. So just duplicate solid black. We'll get a lerp. Our uh, scene brightness will be the alpha. The B value comes out of this multiply from before and black as the A. Next up, we'll lerp between these two uh, final uh, final pieces of math, final values. So with our main um, lerp here, we'll actually we'll multiply these two together for best results and then add that to the lerp as the alpha. Uh, no, that's not right. This multiply goes to the alpha, this multiply goes to B value, and this A goes to the lerp. Then we hook it up as the emissive. Cool, and that deals with our space material. Now if we hit save, and go back to the editor, into our uh, blueprint for the sky, for the sky sphere, uh, we can define some of these values. So come over here on the left, and we'll make some more variables, like star brightness. We want it to be a float, and we want it to be public. We want power. Make that one public, and we want scene brightness. Now we'll get all three of those. And we want the set scalar parameter, uh, set scalar parameter value for our space assets, skybox params. We'll plug in star brightness, connect it to star brightness and then duplicate one of these for each of our other values. Fairly simple. And this allows us the more, the more control over the skybox when it's in the actual scene. 
Scene brightness. Done. Very simple blueprint. Just a construction script for getting our skybox working. So here we are in the editor. These values are defaulted to zero, so we'll bring these guys up. Uh, I forgot to make one of them public. Here we go. Oh, better save it. And there we go. And we can manipulate these values to create some more interesting effects. If we set the power down. Uh, we can click and drag them. The star brightness. Let the stars really pop. So we've got some bright lights in the sky. So this is just how to how to make a how to make a cool space skybox with uh, free tools. And you got some customizable settings here. So without much further uh, further knowledge, you could probably manipulate the colors in the sky as well and things like that. Of course, higher resolution images will produce a better a better space scene. So that's the uh, that's the end of the video, guys. Uh, stay tuned for the next one because it's it's related to this in some way, and I and I really it really needs the stage to be able to properly see and, and appreciate what's being made. So I thought this would make a good sort of semi kind of part one to what I have in mind. So stay tuned for the next video. I'll see you there.